Hey you guys, today we're going to be building a fleshing board station. I've got the boards over my shoulder um, right now and I'm going to attach them to a stationary base that's going to allow me to, you know, flesh beavers, coyotes, fox. Um, so every year I'll rebuild this. Um, I never keep it around to take up too much space, but I had some old fence posts. So let me show you guys what I'm going to use to actually attach these um, fleshing boards to. So I've got, um, I took two, I think it was uh, 10 foot 4x4s. Four um, you can see I cut these about 30 inches and I cut some notches out of them. So those are going to be my bases. And then I have a 36 inch piece right here that I've notched out that's going to be my base and fit right in here. And once I secure that down and I'm gonna have a um, I guess you could say a support beam uh, that's going to pretty much cover the angle uh, that I want now don't worry about what angle you cut here because you can move this back and forth which is going to um, give you the angle you want of course I've got another piece over here that's going to be a little bit of support just something to um, set up and then of course I got a two by six um, I think I cut it about 40 inches so I'm going to secure that there put it on there and then of course I'm going to mount my fleshing board to that which for a fleshing board I've got two different cuts I've got one for um, you know fox and otter and I have one here, which is for, um, you know, coyote, a little bit larger, maybe even beaver. But, um, <clears throat> so I'm going to attach that on there. And that was made out of, um, I believe it was 14 or 12 inch diameter PVC sewage um, piping. And I just um, filed it down to the, to the specific size that I wanted, so. This is about three and a half inches up top and you're looking at about six inches down at the bottom. So let's uh, get to assemble this thing so you guys can see it. Um, and then maybe we could put it to use. Got a few beavers down here. All right, so let's, uh, let's get to work. I'm gonna show you guys um, how I put this thing together. So we're going to work, we're going to be standing here and flushing forward or down at this angle. So now I need to figure out where I want my board and how far I want it to come up uh, to my waist. So we're going to take the 2x6. Actually, I can tell this is kind of like, pretty ideal to what I was thinking. Could be a little too much pitch. Just lay it down. Mark down. I like this. 
things aren't going to be perfect. Drew some lines right down the inside seam of my board. Basically, we're just going to line up in the wood. So I'm going to pre drill a couple holes. Obviously, you don't want the piping to get messed up, but it should be pretty easy from here on out. need to attach much more up top because you want to keep a little bit of flexibility up here I mean this is stiff but it's got a little bit of give and that's what you want so a little uncertain about what I want to use here above my hip bone. <clears throat> Alright, so All right, let's take a closer look. I mean, it took, what, a matter of about 10 minutes. Um, you know, I pre-notched my wood, so I'll say it took a total of 20 minutes to make, so I think you guys um, will like the outcome. Let's take a closer look. So we've got nice strong base and really sturdy foundation so actually I won't even need to normally I would push it up against something so there's no movement but I think that with um, these four by fours I actually really like them I mean I just had some fence posts sitting around so they worked out like perfect but it doesn't always work out like that um, that's kind of the finished product. Um, it's got a nice, nice angle on it. And in the comments below, leave your suggestions, what you think. Um, you know, degrees all vary for everybody. Um, I'm a little bit of a shorter fella, so that um, that angle right there is kind of perfect for what I like. But um, 
stay tuned because we're going to be putting some beavers on the board in the next few days. Um, I also have some otters. I've actually never done an otter before, um, but um, you know, any suggestions and uh, we'll put that on video too. So see you guys. Thanks for tuning in and um, subscribe and like.